Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the baby must have. So as a first time mom, you really want to be prepared. You don't want to miss anything and you want to have everything. So you kind of tend to go a little bit crazy, I think. I mean, I think it was my case. But at the end, you only gonna use few stuff. So here, is the 10 items that you must have as a first time mom. First of all, I think the most important item is the bassinet. Really, just a life saver. Aiden is four months old right now and is still sleeping in his bassinet in my room right next to me. Really, it's really comforting for me to know that in the middle of the night, if I wake up, I, you know, I just have to bend over and he's right here. So I think it's perfect. I think I am not ready to put him in his crib right now, honestly. But what uh, I'm doing, it's like uh, I tried every time, every time he's taking a nap to just put him in his crib, you know? I think it's gonna be like a smooth transition for him and I think even for me. So you can find a bassinet pretty much everywhere, like Walmart, Target. I mean, really everywhere and you have different prices. You don't need to put like a lot of money in a bassinet. I mean, I have this store next to my house, Burlington, and you can have bassinet for like between 70 and $80 and really, really nice bassinet. So don't put a lot in the bassinet, even though you're gonna use it a lot for the first few months, you don't need to pay like, I mean, I know some people, they just spend like a ton of money on their bassinet, like two, 200 bucks. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, you know, just go to the cheapest one, make sure it's safe, it looks good for you. Second items, uh, if you are planning on breastfeeding, I really recommend you to have a nursing pillow. When I was pregnant, I received a lot of coupons uh, to have like free stuff. And so I got this nursing pillow, it's really small, I really like the size, I was kind of concerned at first because I was like, oh, this pillow is really small, but at the end, I mean, it's really, you know, you can move it around as you want, and so I got this from a uh, nursing pillow. So, uh, really good one, you can uh, pick uh, the pattern on it, so I just picked gray because I like it, I mean gray and uh, white because Aiden's room, it's gray, so I don't know, I think what's cute, so yeah, uh, if you plan on breastfeeding, really, you will need nursing pillow. Third item, a rocking chair. So again, if you plan on breastfeeding, it's really nice to have one because uh, it's really comfortable. Uh, you can just put your pillow and you just rock your baby. So I just love it. I use my rocking chair every single day, really. Uh, most of the time at night uh, when Aiden is falling asleep, I just like to go in his room uh, and put a little bit on my phone and I just rock him and usually after like really no joke between two and five minutes is completely out so you do need a rocking chair guys fourth item a no sucker guys so I got this off Amazon um, it's really cheap I think I pay between five and eight bucks for it so you have two sizes. so you have the newborn size that I'm still using with Aiden even though it's Four months and you have uh, a bigger size I think when they're a little bit older I mean I have to check but you have two size so it's pretty good really easy to use I was like oh my god this thing is gross but you put a tissue in there or a gauze or whatever just to make sure you're not gonna suck your uh, kids boogers <laughs> obviously but really good I know that and in France uh, they say that you need to use a wet gauze that, you know, it was put in their nose. I think it doesn't really work. So, uh, I just wanted to make my life easier. I just went on Amazon and I just bought this thing. And this thing is just amazing, really. I mean, in a few seconds, beam, you have all the boogers out. Fifth item, it's not really an item, but I do use this every single day since Aiden was born. It's the Baby Plus app on iPhone. I think you 
skin finding on Android, I'm not sure. I love this app. I used the Pregnancy Plus app during my pregnancy and it's just amazing and really complete. And you have picture and you have daily uh, blog. I mean, it's just amazing. So I will put the name down below. But uh, you can keep track on uh, the feeding, the diapers, the sleep, just everything. And you have a daily vlog and every week you have a new article. And if you are pregnant right now, I highly recommend you to download the Pregnancy Plus app. I love it. I use those apps uh, every single day. Pregnancy Plus since I found out that I was pregnant and then at the end of the app when the app know that you did deliver, they just advise you to uh, download this app. And it's just amazing, really. I just love this app. So if you really want it, and it's free. So if you want, uh, if you want to keep track on uh, the breastfeeding time, or uh, if you bottle feed, to know how many ounces your baby is drinking, or the poopy diaper, wet diaper. Anyway, you want to keep track on everything, guys. Just download this. All right, next item that you really want to have it's a bathtub. So uh, I put this bathtub uh, in my uh, registry on Amazon because I did my registry on Amazon and it costs like 15 or 20 bucks or nothing you can find it at Walmart Target pretty much everywhere and it's a three in one so this is the bathtub so this it's when they're really newborn it's really safe I used to go in the top with my son when he was really a baby because I was right behind him so I think that was just easier for me to wash his body and his hair and everything so this then you just pull up this so it's a clip it's really easy and then it's the next size so now it's been I think it's been a couple of weeks I bathed him in there so you have this position and then when they're like, uh, I think a year old or uh, not as small as Aiden right now, they can just sit just right here. So it's really like really cheap. You can find it everywhere. Uh, you can stick this in your closet if you want. So yeah, you really want to have a bathtub like that. What I really like about this one is like really it's because it's three in one. And I think it's pretty safe, never had any problem or nothing. So I really love it. You also need a pacifier. At the hospital, all the nurses, if you plan on breastfeeding again, they're like, no, uh, you can give a pacifier after six weeks because you need to build your milk supply because of the nipple confusion and everything. It all depends on your baby. I gave Aiden a pacifier it wasn't even a day old. Never had nipple confusion and I was also bottle feeding at the same time uh, during the night. So he took either the boob, the pacifier or the bottle. Because you know babies they need to suck on something because it's really comforting for them. So instead of uh, breastfeed your baby for like an hour, even though he's already full and stuff, I think a pacifier is a really great option. I use, I don't remember the name, but it's this pacifier with like stuffed animal on it. So at first I used those and then I switched to Evan Phillips because uh, I use uh, this brand for the bottle and I just love this brand. It's a really good one. Really a pacifier, really comforting. I mean, it works with my son. Don't work with all the babies. I know my best friend she tried and uh, her daughter didn't like it so I think it's really up to the baby. Another lifesaver, a baby monitor. I remember when I was pregnant I told my husband so I want to have a baby monitor but with a camera and it was like what you think it's gonna turn into a werewolf during the middle of the night? I was like no but I mean we have one floor at our house and I was like, well, one is going to be sleeping in his room or even in his bassinet at night and we're watching a movie downstairs. I mean, I just like, you know, to be able to see him and to hear him, you know, uh, just in case something happened. The thing is that with Aiden, uh, since he was a baby, sometimes he's sleeping and uh, he makes this weird nose like, Ugh! you know, like he cannot breathe and he scared the shit out of me and my husband. So uh, after that happened, he was like, yeah, okay, you were right. I like to keep an eye on him. So we uh, got this one from Amazon. It's the Samsung one. So you can see Aiden is sleeping right now. 
really good brand, uh, really worked uh, very well. The screen is pretty big. It's a really uh, good baby monitor, so you can find this one on Amazon, and I think Baby Zars, even Target or Walmart. Walmart, I'm not sure, Target for sure. So yeah, this brand, and I think this one cost, that was a gift from my in-laws. But I think the Samsung one costs, um, I think 150 I have to check, but I'm, I'm not sure. It's a decent price, I think. I mean, you know that baby monitors aren't cheap, but uh, you want uh, to make sure that your baby sleeps safe and sound. So yeah, I do recommend to have a baby monitor with a camera. It depends if you have a big house or no. For us, I think we uh, did uh, needed to have uh, a baby monitor. When your baby is gonna be a little bit older, they say you can start when they're newborn. I think it's like just too small and scary. It's a baby carrier. So uh, I put one on my registry that was the Baby Bjorn. Uh, it's a really good one, but I don't know. I thought at first, and my mistake, I thought uh, this baby carrier you can only use it, you know, uh, when your baby is facing you. And no, I was wrong. So I did buy an other one. It's Infantino, so it can flip from front to back. It's a three carrying position, and I really love it. I just like the shape and everything. It's pretty light. So it's between 8 and 32 pounds, so pretty good. So it's this one, and again, you can find it on Amazon. Pretty easy to use, and you know, you don't need your husband to put on, except if you want to put your baby on the back, but it's when it's going to be a little bit older. So yeah, I really love this carrier, and again, you can uh, find this pretty much everywhere. And um, I think it was 25 bucks, so not that expensive, I was expecting a little bit more, so yeah. And it was even cheaper than the Baby Bjorn, you know, and I like this one better. So yeah, I think you do need to have a baby carrier. When you want to go out, like for a walk or I mean anything you want, yeah, you do want to have this. Other item, a play mat. So we have two, we have a big one. A friend of mine uh, gave it to me, it's pretty nice, it's like the jangle with the animals and everything. And I have another one, a smaller one. So this one, I like it because you can just stick it in your car, it's pretty small and you can fold it so it doesn't take any space in your car pretty much. And uh, Aiden just loves it. When they start to be awake uh, a lot more during the day, it's nice because they can be like entertained by by themselves, they can, you know, see the colors and uh, listen to some music and stuff. So I think it's really nice uh, to have uh, a playmat, but I'm sure you already know that. Last item that you need, and I think it's one of my favorite. I've been using this since the beginning, and I, I'm gonna use this one for a long time too. It's a boppy pillow. So yeah, I know I'm a big fan of Amazon because I also got this on Amazon. So uh, this has two uh, face, so you have this one and you have this one. So it's more uh, this uh, during, I guess, winter time, it's more uh, soft. So a gray one, you have uh, also a different pattern and I think you can also buy cover for it. So I, I started using this bobby pillow. Um, when Aiden was literally a newborn. So yeah, it's really nice because when they're small and you don't want to put them in their bassinet when they're taking their nap, I just put this on my couch and uh, Aiden take his nap in it. Uh, now he still like it, but not as much as the beginning because uh, he moves so much and he, he always wants to stand up. So yeah, but I still use it when um, it takes uh, a nap during the day. Not for all the nap because as I say earlier in the video, I try to put him in a crib. So yeah, Bob Pillow is just awesome. I have my, one of my friend, uh, she had twins and uh, she's been using this for like over two years. The kids are gonna be three in August. So yeah, it's a really good item. If you never heard of it but I'm sure you did uh, just go check it on Amazon I'm gonna try to put a link below it's not that expensive it's one of the items that you didn't regret uh, buy so uh, yeah Bobby pill. All right, guys. So uh, this was my video for the baby must have, and uh, I hope you like it. If you do, just give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye bye.